don't stop. Good morning, guys. I know it's been a while since I uh, vlogged and all that sort of stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed that last video that I put up. Um, just trying to, you know, promote love and that sort of thing. So, it is Friday morning. It's not even 9 o'clock. It's only 8.40. And I came home from work last night. <clears throat> and my baby Sherry, my cat, was sick. And I've been having some issues with her and just trying to, you know, take care of her. And so I took her to the vet a few months back. And because she was urinating throughout the house and I know that was something that that wasn't normal for her and so doctor wanted me to get a uh, a sample of her urine of her urine and unfortunately I was not able to get that sample for him so we ended up that same visit we ended up getting some medicine for her just just in case it was a urinary tract infection so gave her the medicine um, she got better she started eating she started drinking and she got her strength back I, always in the back of my mind I was thinking that it was probably her kidneys that were failing her so when I got home last night and matter of fact, the, like the last week or so, um, while it was warm outside, I was having her in the sunroom. And, you know, she loved out there. You guys know that she that was her spot. So I had her there, you know, and it worked out because it eliminated the urination in the house. So, and, you know, we I have hardwood floors, so she was urinating on, on my rug. So, it was just costing me money. Um, but I'm okay with that because this is my baby. So, anyway, um, temperature started to get cold. And, you know, I'm like, I don't think she can take that cold weather out there. So I asked people at work, you know, how, how much cold can cats take? Told them how old she was. She's like 19, 20 years old, guys. Um, and so they were like, you know, she should be fine um, or whatever. You know, if it gets below that, then probably bring her in or get like a heating lamp or something like that. So... On my better judgment, I bought her in and I put her in the bathroom downstairs. Um, she's familiar with that area. Um, I mean, she loves the whole house, so she's familiar with that area. So I put her there and it, she didn't get any better. Like she wasn't eating or any of that. And so I, I brought her back up. And I put her back in the sunroom since I know she likes it in there. But I felt it was too cold in there. So last night when I got home, I took her back out of there. And I picked her up and she allowed me to pick her up. Anybody that knows Sherry, she does not like to be handled at all. So for her to let me pick her up and she just laid in my arms and I knew <laughs> I knew it was something wrong with my baby. <laughs> so I, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry guys. <laughs> Alright guys, sorry about that. So um I bought her in, in my room. I put her litter 
I put her food in here and I just held her um, and just held her on my on my chest and she was making this meow sound it was like you can tell she was in pain so this morning she's not much better um she can't get up and walk and like I said I had her in my bed and she was laying in my bed because she loves me in my bed and she tried to get up and she fell out the bed and she just laid there so I went and got her um, her little basket um, that she's been resting in and so you know I, I fed her some milk um, last night uh, as well just you know to see if she would take something and uh, get it on her stomach so she did drink the milk um, but now she's she's just lifeless um, and I'll show you guys her right now if if you are you know a little sensitive um, I probably wouldn't watch it's nothing gross or anything but you could just tell that she's not well and uh, I don't want to take her to the vet because I'm afraid they're gonna tell me I have to put her down and I can't do that <laughs> so I'm just I'm gonna let her stay here and if she um uh, God takes her home and she will be home and pass away here. Um, but I'm going to try and do what I can to try to get her back strong. I'm going to see if there's some more of that medicine um, uh, that the doctor gave her. I'm going to see if I still have some left. But um, this is what she looks like right now. So as you can see, she's just... She's just laying here. I'm gonna show you guys. See, she's still breathing, so she's okay. Sherry, see the sound she makes? Sherry, baby girl, pretty girl. And I know whenever I call her pretty girl, she perks right up, and she's not doing that. Sherry, Sherry, <clears throat> see if I try to move her, she it she don't like it. So, y'all, send prayers for my baby girl. Um, if you have any suggestions, aside from taking her to the vet, because I don't, I can't, I don't have the strength to put her down. And I don't want to have her take her last breath in a vet's office. So, if she's going to leave us... I'd rather her be at home um, where she knows she was loved. So, no more pets after this. I can't, I can't do this. So, yeah, no more pets. If she leaves me, that's it. No more. 
All right, guys, so, um, just keep me in your thoughts, and, uh, I'll see you soon, and just, you know, pray for my Sherry, this is my, my best friend, she's been through everything with me, so, yeah, this is kind of, it's kind of hard, plus the holidays, too. So yeah, uh, I'll keep you guys updated and uh, let you know if she gets better, of course, and uh, I'll I'll let you know if she um, goes to heaven as well. All right, I love you guys.